everybody, it's Liza, America's host for eBike. We're down here at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, about to go into Sammy Hager and Emerald Lagasse's Rockin' Beach Party. We want to know, what does it take to create a Rockin' Beach Party? Well, we haven't been in here, but one minute, and look what we found. Tell me what this is. Cabo Diablo coffee tequila. I think that is definitely the beginning of a rockin' beach party. Can I try one of these? Yes, of course. Uh, okay. Do you, will you do one with me? Of course. Ooh, but you have yes. to say Diablo. The, Diablo made me do it. The Diablo made me, me do, do it. it. Cheers. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. my new favorite thing. I, I love, love to party, party with Evi. Tell us about this. I found this tomato jam. Can you tell me what that is? Yeah, tomato jam is a it's a recipe that we use with our fire roasted Mir Glen organic tomatoes. And what you do is you get the diced tomatoes and you add sugar and we put some Moroccan spices in here and then you cook it down, you puree it and cook it down and it creates this tomato jam. We've also got some goat cheese on here that we've yeah. made with some goat cheese and cream. And so the tomato jam goes perfectly with the goat cheese and the cracker. I've never had tomato jam before. Can I try this? Absolutely. Because it looks amazing. Yeah. All right. So we're hearing that the trend right now really is a lot of spices, new spices. Yes. So yes. is that what you're seeing too? Absolutely. Spices and different types of flavoring. So the fire Oh my roast gosh. Do you like it? Okay. I thought this was going to be sweet because ah. jam. And sugar. But yeah. To me, it's like, it almost tastes Indian, like Indian or Turkish or yeah, what are, I mean, yeah, it's got the margarine. Mar Moroccan spice. Ah, uh, the Moroccan spice. Yeah, that's absolutely. what it is. Yeah. That yeah. is incredible because it's savory, yep. but it's not super acidic. Right. It's got a nice balance between the acidity of the tomato yeah. with the sweetness of the sugar that balances out with the uh, goat cheese. That is yeah. amazing. Good, well, and, it, and what's nice about it, too, is that it's room temperature. That's right. So it can hold up at a party. You could have it out, no problem. Exactly. You can use baguettes or crackers or whatever else, pita bread right. almost. Right. Exactly. This is delicious. Great. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Glad you liked it. I see this is a turkey sandwich with a guava cream cheese spread. Can you tell us, is the guava, is it like a sweet thing or is it? It's very sweet. It's like a glaze that goes on the croissant and then you layer it with some turkey and cream cheese and you just make this Elena Ruth sandwich. It reminds me of cranberry sauce, right. but it's not as sweet, it doesn't have the sour, it's very mellow, mm -hmm. and it really well pairs nicely with the, the croissant, right. the butter. This is really good. Thank I'm you so, so like much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Okay, so we found a twist on a french fry, and it's a yucca frite. And a yucca is similar to a potato, but it's a root vegetable, and it's grown in the Amazon. And so they made them into fries, the yucca frita, with a aioli dipping sauce. I'm gonna try one right now, because I've never had one before. I didn't even know what a yucca was until tonight. Oh, wow. It's really, really crispy. It actually reminds me of, a, of an onion ring. And it's really good. Can I just tell you something? Every time that they put these out, they're gone. I'm thinking that this is definitely a secret to a rock and beach party. It's delicious. Okay, well we had to stop here because I saw this. These delicious little popsicles that are actually not popsicles. What are they? Cake pops. They're cake pops. So tell us what's inside this one. That's a red velvet cake pop with cream cheese filling. A red velvet cake pop and a cream cheese filling. Mm -hmm. And then what about this guy? This one? This one. Frangipan almond cake with raspberry filling. And that's caramel chocolate on the outside. <laughs> this is kind of fancy. The marzipan. <laughs> and, and tell me what the cake is again. I'm sorry. It's frangipan. It's an almond based cake so, similar to marzipan, but it's lighter and fluffier with more butter and this flour. Is so good. All right. I'm glad I'm you like in. it. I'm Try going the, in for the second. Try the red one. Try the red one. Thank I'm you. Lovely. Okay, the red velvet cake. <laughs> I know I'm not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So the little pieces of cake on a popstick with frosting on it. White chocolate. White chocolate frosting. This is delicious. I wish you were here. I wish I could give this to you.
Okay, so we're seeing that the trends really are the flavored tequilas. And right now we have, what are you calling it? We have our Cabarita, which is our Cabo Wabo Tequila Blanco with our margarita mix. Yeah. And this is a margarita mix that you can make yourself too, right? You don't have yeah. to like buy in the bottle. All you have to do is add some pineapple juice, some lemon juice, and there you go. And there you go. Should we try it? Let's try it. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cabo like a rock star. <laughs> no oh my gosh. Yeah. I could do another one. No, yeah. <laughs> Now that's how you throw a rockin' beach party. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Okay. Hi, can you do this for me? Because I've had too much to drink and I can't remember anything. You can't I'm saying. remember anything? No. I'm the dean of the Chaplain School of Hospitality oh, and Tourism oh, oh, Management. Oh, is that right? Yes, and we're the ones that are the beneficiary of the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. You're the dean? of the School of Hospitality. How is it that I happen to walk up at this time? You, you know, are a rock star. It's amazing the opportunity that we have here. Oh my, and how much do you love Lee Schrager? Lee Schrager is the icon of anything to do with wine and food festivals. How is we he? couldn't be more proud to be associated with him. I was going to yeah. say, so how has he, he helped the growth of your program? Well, he's the inf inspiration for yeah. what we do every year. Yeah. In fact, we've got 72 different events going on, and he had to conceptualize what they would all be taking place, what they'd all be like. He's the mastermind. He is. He's so creative. and we're, We just think that he's awesome in the way that he comes up with all these new ideas every year. Do you want to say something to Lee right now? Lee, I think you're absolutely spectacular. Thank you so much for all you do for the Chaplain School of Hospitality and Tourism Management. Oh, so well said. That was beautiful. <laughs> Can you say all one right. more thing for us? I, I like, like to party, party with Evite.